There she goes. Getting on the bus. So being that we're approaching fall and summer is finally, if not officially over, certainly practically over. Raylan recently started going to school again. She goes to school in person two days a week and then three days a week we have somebody come to our home and work with her for about an hour a day. Through school she gets things like physical therapy, occupational therapy that works with her hands, speech therapy which helps her to make choices using her eyes, and also hopefully they'll work with her with her eye gaze as well. But anyway I bring this up today because I've never actually recorded I think her getting on the bus <laughs> and I know it's not like revolutionary, it's not like a really secret process or anything like that, but the way it happens is that Raylan simply gets in her wheelchair, the bus that she gets on has a special door that opens up and then a huge platform comes down, lowers to the ground, then Raylan can roll onto it and then it lifts her up and then takes her onto the bus. I mean, honestly, whoever came up with the system really knew how to make things work. Because <laughs> not only does it need to work well, it needs to be easy enough to use that everybody can operate it, it needs to support her weight, and it just needs to be quick enough also so that it's not holding up the whole process. And I'm sure that these kinds of things have been around for a long time, but I'm just really impressed with technology, both for my own everyday use, but also for like Raylan and for I'm sure many of you as well, just to do things day to day. We rely on so much technology to do the things that we need to do. I just think that's a really cool thing. I love the way that we can invent things, use things to make our lives easier every day. And I'm just in awe of that. <laughs> I think it's so, so cool. So I'm curious also, what are some kinds of things that you use every day, whether technology or even mechanical things that you just don't think that you could live without? If you have some kind of disability, maybe it's some kind of you know aid of some kind that can help you do things every day. Maybe it's as simple as your phone that really just, you know, every day you use it every day and you're just in awe of this technology. What kinds of things are you in awe of? What device, what piece of equipment, what is it that you use every day or many times a week that you're just like, man, I'm so thankful that I have this. Let me know in a comment and also read the other comments too and, and respond to them and say, hey, that's a really cool thing. I'm glad you have that. Whatever it is, be thankful, be joyful, no matter what's going on in your life. God bless you and we'll see you again next time.